Hey Pelicans, here we are at Brooklyn Gardens Night of a Thousand Candles. We are so glad you could join us. Brooklyn Gardens hosts this every year and it is more than a thousand Christmas lights as you will see. And I thought it would be very important to maintain the ambiance, the background sounds and sights so that you could experience what it's like to actually be here. So please enjoy. I'll put in some some dialogue every once in a while, but for the most part, you're going to hear what I heard. And be sure to stick around to the end to see one of the most amazing performances you will ever hear. Brookring Gardens is a park in South Carolina in the United States. We're going to put in a link to some other videos related. But we started our Night of a Thousand Candles with cinnamon rolls, a cronut, and some custom special hot chocolate that they mix all by themselves right there before it. We sat down at a table and we just kind of watched some sights and sounds and waited for dust to fall. We thought it would be interesting to start in the far corner of the park and work our way back towards the entrance. So what you're seeing here is actually the deepest part of the gardens. Back near the statue gardens, you will find classical poetry. One of my favorites is The Whimsical Darkness of Lewis Carroll. How doth the little crocodile improve his shining tail, and pour the waters of the Nile on every golden scale. How cheerfully he seems to grin, how neatly spreads his claws, and welcomes little fishes in gently smiling jaws.
Queen Freddy. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you like the video. And we finally reached darkness. So enjoy the rest. As some of you know, I am writing a book called Holy Water, De Lord's Water, and it's based around the Gala culture in South Carolina. Here at the Night of a Thousand Candles, we're about to be pleasantly surprised by an amazing set of performances. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And if you'd like to learn more, I have several videos. I'll try to put a link in the description from the Junkanoo Festival this past summer.
I was born in Rochester, New York. <laughs> Some other up there in the cold and the snow. And in uh, April 1983, I caught a Greyhound bus from Syracuse, where I lived at the time, down here. I left the snow and things were blue. Really I was supposed to be down here for two weeks. That was 1983. <laughs> uh, I met Ron that spring. He asked me to marry him that November. Yes! Know what you want, get it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, that Christmas, I went to his mama's house on St. Helena Island because I was going to meet all the family. Five of those nine were sisters. Yes, I, I, I was, I was, yeah, I, I was scared. Uh, and for the most, I mean, they treated me well for the most part, but they did check me out. Um, but now, his sister Mildred, she was a scientist, she lived in Philadelphia, and she made it her job to make sure first that everybody was there, and also that Mama got a treat. And she assigned that eventually to us. She would say, Ronnie, I'm sitting here. Everywhere you go, take a look in the five and ten, listening once again, with candy canes and silver lanes and glow. I saw three ships come sailing in, the, the seven joys of Mary, and behold that star. Now here is a spiritual, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with it, and I will be listening uh, to hear you sing the chorus. Now, I'm going to divide the audience in half, and um, this side and this side, and whenever I point in your direction, I'll be listening to Yeti, or to hear which side sings the chorus with most excitement. The song is Go Tell It On The... That's right. It's a jazz arrangement. Where will I begin? Go tell it on the map. Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountains yeah, That Jesus Christ is born So instead of the b sound, you're going to hear a b sound. Not river, but riba. Open it up. E o r a r word ending to substitute with an a or e a sound. River S would be riba. S t r struck, but you will hear Gullah speakers instead use s k r. So not street, but street. So then, if I say down, you come down the street, go over the river, and get ya. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> There are many uh, words, words that have origin in West African languages, like Haven't heard the word unu before, but have heard ona, or yona. How ona do? do How ona do? What does ona mean? You as a singular plural or possessive pronoun. It comes from the West African word unu. Uh, and and Ron's, Ron is the grammarian, so I'm going to have this wrong. So I, I'm thinking about tenses. You know, you say you're going somewhere, or you're gone. Out of gone. Out of gone. So right. If you went already, you do go. If you're going to go, you fuck on. Got you fuck on. You won't hear an ing so much. Oh, and plurals. This is important. In English, when we want to say plural, we put an s on the end of the word. But in Gullah, you simply add the word them for more than one. But you're not going to say them. You're going to say. Yeah. Right. So the people that have sitting in the chair, they're going to shoot them from the feet. Pearls. So, will that be enough, you think? I think so. Okay, then. <laughs> Can you tell you the story of Jesus and God? Remember to watch to the end so you can see a great performance from the two of them. And please leave comments 
So let us know what you think. Those are not rope swings. Thank you very much. Tunnel. Tunnel. Want to go through the tunnel? 
Well, of course we do. Christmas tree. We'll see if you can work your mag. Can you work your magic? We heard you're the best. Yeah, right straight down this side. Yeah, right straight down this side. Yeah, right straight down this side. There's really no way to describe this. Another one where you can look up a little bit.
center thing oh, no. I just don't want you to think you have to leave them. I think we should go through this. Through the live oak? Yeah, okay. it's right here. Me too. That's cool. Me too. Because everybody's walking that way. We take a path less traveled by, a road less traveled by.
Look at that. <laughs> See, all their plants died too. Well, yeah. It's 27 degrees and it's going to get that cold again today. Yeah. Oh, they're saying it again. Yes. And as we say goodbye to Brooklyn Gardens Night of a Thousand Candles for another year, we hope you will come and join us 
both here at YouTube, become a member of the Pelican Pod just by subscribing, and join the Pelican Pod at Patreon. I'm Morty, I'm one of the content creators, and I love having you guys along with me. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Oh yeah, that's right, I owe you a great performance. Well, here you go, There's something I can't do myself, but these two are quite amazing. The Tom and Mary and Joseph, away from the inn. The Tom and Mary and Joseph, away from the inn. The Tom and Mary and Joseph, away from the inn. And that one made the glory ninja. Hallelujah, and that one made the glory ninja. Then let the pretty little Jesus down in the hay. Then let the pretty little Jesus down in the hay. Then let the pretty little Jesus down in the hay. Glory ninja and all the pretty little fingers played in the score and all the pretty little fingers just played in the score and all the pretty little fingers played in the score and that one made the glory ninja and the hallelujah, and the hallelujah, and that one made the glory ninja. One more time. And the hallelujah, and the hallelujah, and that one made the glory.